can't take all these pictures. I don't save half of them. All right, we're running, running a 26 car train of lumber from the coal mine. Yes, you heard that right. We picked this lumber up at the coal mine to the refinery. Gonna be a lot of brake action going down that hill. The first time I built this bridge, it took me, I don't even know, <laughs> maybe two days. <laughs> the second time I built it because of the tools, it was like an hour or two or something. And not just the tools, but other tech, other techniques. Like doing this, this is kind of cool. Uh, here. Hey, don't fall off the edge. Look at that. That looks like something. <laughs> It'd be funny if it just derailed and they all fell to the bottom of the ravine. <laughs> yeah, like sitting inside the engine, listening to those things hum, it's, it's loud in the ears and stuff. So I like, to, I like the option of teleporting and just kind of watching it from a distance. Wait, how fast is it going? It's slowing down. We want to pick up the speed a little bit. It looks like it was going slow. Let's hot. Let's teleport over here. Where's a good view? Watch the light come on as it gets closer, which is weird because the light should be the first thing you see on a train, right? The old 9, 10, 11. Which, because I put it on the hopper train, the engines got turned around, so it's 11, 10, 9 now. That, that is a load right there, man. Let me see. How heavy are those cars? There's 17,000 pounds times 26. That's quite a bit. Eight. It's coming this way. I'm like, where's the train? How fast are we going? Oh, it's going up 4% grade right now, by the way. Give it a little more throttle. This is the hardest part of the climb. And I definitely want to be in the engine as a crest. I'm going to be like a stuntman. Thing is going so slow. You hear it stopping? Oh, I missed the train. Uh oh. Very good.
because of the crest and the turns, this is a spot where a train could derail. Because you got now you have the weight of these locos pulling it down the hill, with, and then the other one pushing it up at the same time. So you just kind of want to ease off the throttle very slowly, so you don't create slack and tension in the cars. do anything abrupt that's how you snap the train in half but as we witnessed yesterday the links are a lot stronger now we were dragging a car on its side that was so funny so right now the weight of the train going down the hill is pulling the loco in the back up the hill. That actually puts a lot of tension on the train. So I'm leaving a little throttle on so that that engine is kind of pushing its own weight a little bit. And the train isn't pulling it. That's about the only time having an engine in the back is bad when you're going over a hill or down a valley like this should have been level all the way and then started a descent all right the back of the train is over the hill I can cut the throttle because now everything is coasting and we're gonna start picking up speed we don't want to go too fast we want to keep it under 15 or so or even around this speed is good. It's picking up speed. I'm going to keep applying brake until it starts to descend a little bit. And I should hold it maybe a little less. That looks like it's holding. You saw you saw how the train was flickering there. It could be, that's the train jumping around the track, acting like it's disconnected. If you go over 16 or 17 miles an hour, the train will just fly off the track. Check my speed again. That right, jumped up a little. Rather, rather just... Like Savage says, slow and steady wins the race. You can kind of tell by the way the train's jumping around that. It's thinking about the railing. I, and I am going over track I haven't gone over before. I think I, I think I went up this way. Yeah, I did go up this way with an empty train. But this is my first time bringing a load down over some new track, so I don't know what it's going to do. Probably doing about 12 miles an hour now. Close. 13 is a good speed. Yeah, no price if you don't get there. No prize. That's when spelling counts. Right, let me tell you, this this grade over here, I must have reworked it like three or four times. As my trains got bigger and heavier, and you try to take them over it, and then they just start flopping and crashing. You have to smooth everything out.
whistle gets stuck. I guess the FPS is causes is causing that causing it to jump like that. Or this the same bottleneck situation that's causing the low FPS is also causing the whistle to auto tune. It's like a bad 80s video. 80s music video. <laughs> a bad 80s MTV video. <laughs> Welcome to Humanity Kills Railroads Online Twitch Stream. A bunch of fucking old fart jokes. Cornball jokes. I'm so drunk and my boyfriend went to sleep. the fuck out of here. <laughs> the internet's a weird place. Holding steady. Good speed. Yeah, that, that, that sucked. I don't know. Whatever. I'm, sh I'm sure that must have led to some kind of thing. If you want to see more, you have to pay. Because this bridge is on a grade down, and I could only get these at 10%. This one looks like it's up more than that one. I don't know if you can hear my kids yelling in the background. I guess they're watching the Super Bowl. No, no I didn't want to deal with that crap. Are you crazy? That wasn't real. That was fake. I was just, I was like, I was in shock. I was in shock for a couple seconds there. At first, I didn't want to be rude. And then Joe was like, watch your stream, man. And I'm like, this fucking bitch, get the fuck out of here. I think the grade on my helix is less than on the hill. So I don't need as much break. Yeah, right, the big circle. The big helix corkscrew. And it works, man. This track used to have to go... It used to go... Where did it go? It went all the way down here like this. And then tied in over here. To get down. Now it just does that. I think it's less ugly than the bridge I had before. Those pieces are all crazy. It was hard to put those pieces. Now I'm going to 
double check those switches. I know I checked them twice already, but really not in the mood for derailing. What was the saying? Derailing is railing. If you ain't derailing, you ain't railing. They say that in, in off-road, like if you're into off-road, ATV, dirt bike. If you ain't crashing, you ain't try, you're trying hard enough or something. Same thing, RC planes. If you're not crashing, you're not you're not trying hard enough. Okay, first time up this track. The train is going to be on three switches at once. Imagine if the wood consumption was realistic. All they would be doing is just running from loco to loco, just throwing wood in. And it would be empty by the time I got there. They're probably going to make that an option in the game. in Colorado on the George, Georgetown Loop. They pulled nine cars up a 4% grade max. It was like maybe two miles and they consumed 500 gallons of water.
wor I reworked this whole yard just so I could do this. Where'd that tree come from? I guess I never deleted it. Okay. I hope the switches are set right. ease in here. I know I double trick triple checked it. But yeah, that would be awesome actually. When I was on the Georgetown loop it was raining and the train was slipping a little. Lost traction a couple times. He lost a lot of speed too when that happened. We were trucking along, you know, maybe six, seven miles an hour. As soon as he lost traction, we dropped to like four miles an hour. I got to um, edit a video of my trip out there and put it up on the channel, on the YouTube. This, this is a 50 meteor, 50 meteor, 50 meter t radius turn. Let's see how she does. Like I said, if it's all level and we're just coasting along here, should be okay. I've taken this train around 50 meteor radius turns <clears throat> several times yeah but look it went it went right around it no problem That's the tightest turn I would ever have. Uh, same, same name. Humanity kills. Where is it? Okay. Let me see if I can bring it up for you. No, I'm not locked in. Uh, yep. I don't know if I... I can't give you that link. I guess this, this is a good link. Let me know if that link works. This almost looks like the uh, the horseshoe curve in Pennsylvania. Good. I calculated the fuel perfectly.
I just had an idea while I was driving the train too. I'm going to test it. Right now. We're good. A little toot. Alright. Um, I was showing you about the curves. Let me try something. How to pick up a curve. I was overlaying the track. Let's try something here. Okay. That's pretty janky. So I said if you were missing pieces to start two links back here, but what if we did this? What if I told you? What if we did this? Let's go out straight. Curve. That's almost perfect. That's not what I want to do. Um, yeah. Say we wanted to put this piece in. This piece is almost impossible to get a curve, right? So if I linked it and then continued to the next link, that curves the first piece. And then all you have to do is delete the one that's not curved here, the one that's sticking out to the left. No, I needed the one that was curved. I'm just thinking out loud here. See how this doesn't meet, right? But if you bring it to the next link, what if you bring it one more? Oh, that's terrible. I don't know why I did that, but we don't want that. And then this double one, which one do we want to get rid of? The one with this right here. I deleted the wrong one. You son of the gun. Uh, it kind of works. You just got to delete the right piece. Because that's not a good link right there. You know why? Because this, this, this turn is just too sharp. Even still, it worked. It kind of gave me something. That wasn't a good turn to do it on, but it could work the opposite way for picking up rail again, so you don't have to do the whole turn over again. Anyway, guys, I'm calling it. I'm going to go watch the Super Bowl with my kids. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good night.